Presenting price and helping the homeowners find a way to make the money make sense is one of the most important aspects of our sales process. Regardless of how much pain they have, value this project will bring to their lives, respect and trust they have for you and or the company, the brand or any other intangibles we value in sales, if we cannot help them make the money make sense, there will be no sale. In this video, we'll do a role play of a price presentation that will take you through all of the basics that are needed to help isolate the money, help the customer have value, and to be able to identify a payment and deposit that will work for them. In doing this, we're going to start off with a project recap. The value of this is that we're able to show the customer all of the things that are included for this price and hopefully be able to make them feel that they're getting a lot of value for their dollar. We'll also touch on the fair pricing policy, which is our policy of pricing up the job for every customer that we meet the exact same because the computer is responsible and that takes the onus off of the sales rep to have to negotiate and bring the price down. We'll also transition into presenting the one-year price. This is a commitment that we've made to the customer over the phone a variety of times. So by us keeping this commitment, we're able to gain their trust. We'll also show how to price condition with a payment and also how to bridge to the national promotions and to our local promotions. As we do this, it's important that we validate the offer that they have in hand and that we are able to move them to our local promotions, even though they may have called in on something else. Our local promotion, we will start out with no deposit and then we'll show how to assume a deposit while we're at our highest payment get the customer to negotiate that deposit and the payment. We'll also tease the sales cost savings program or the initial visit discount. We'll show how to gain minor commitments along the way, use alternative choice closing, and then how to transition to the close. It's important that I point out that this video doesn't cover every scenario, but this is the basics of getting through and presenting your price and your payments. Once you transition to the close, there will, of course, be additional negotiations that will go on. This could include reducing the job to a smaller project, or it could be adding a um, lower deposit amount. There's a wide variety of things, but the purpose here is to show us the basics and get us prepared. So let's get started. All right, John, so we've got everything um, built for your project, um, all of the windows, doors that we looked at with all the specifics that we talked about as far as options go. I want to do just a, a quick recap on what's included in this project total. So what you've got here is all of the windows in your home. So we've got the three up there in the master bedroom that we were looking at, along with the patio door that's up there off of your master. We've also got the ones there in your daughter Rio's room, uh, that big gliding window that you said has been giving her so many problems for the last couple of years. So we've got that one there built in. The one upstairs in the main hallway bathroom. And then we've got your guest bedroom up there, your loft. We're doing those as um, single hung windows. So those will be up and down. That's how you wanted them, right? Exactly. Okay, cool. And then we get down here to the main level. On the main level, we've got this entire backside of the house which is again the patio door and then the couple of windows, the big one over there behind the couch, the one right there over the kitchen sink, that's the one that we're gonna to change to an awning window so that you guys can just crank it out and have all I that glass that space. Idea. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, and we're looking at doing these in the Impervia product, so I have that selected there for us. Before I get into the pricing though, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about uh, what we call our fair pricing policy. So what the fair pricing policy is, is basically it's, it's our commitment that if we measure a project for you or for your neighbor or for somebody on the other type, side of town, that is going to be the same price. The, I put in the information, the computer gives me a price, there's nothing that I can do to impact the price of this project except for apply the promotions that are available at any given time. I know you had called in on this um, buy one get one 50% off, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, I also mentioned to you the sales cost savings program, which is some additional incentives to um, get started with your project sooner rather than later. And then we also have a variety of other promotions that maybe you may or may not have heard about. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over everything that's available. But before we get into that, um, I want to talk a little bit about what happens in our industry. 
We had promised that we would give you a price that's good for a year. You remember somebody saying that to you? I do. Okay, yeah, usually the, our customer service center or even some of the events marketers, they'll make sure that you know that we're going to give you a price that's good for a year. Let me tell you about what that price is. So the price that's good for a year is essentially the, the full cost of the project with no promotions attached to it. So there's no discounts included in that price that's good for a year. The advantage is that sometimes whenever we meet families, they don't really need windows whenever we first meet them. And so this insulates them against price increases that are common in our industry, which is typically anywhere from 5 to 7% on an annual basis. And so if we were to meet somebody who didn't need windows whenever we met, at least they have a price that's good for a year, and, and that way they're not impacted by that constantly um, increasing cost in our okay. industry. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, but based off of our inspection today, obviously I, I think we've determined that you guys do want to get something done with your window sooner rather than later. Yeah, that one was pretty bad. Okay. All right, so we'll still go over that. We're going to keep that commitment to give you the price that's good for a year. Then we're going to look at all the promotions that are available, find the one that's going to you know, be the best fit for you and how you want to make this purchase. And then we'll go over a variety of payment options that are available too to try and make this work. And we can usually find a way to make it work for anybody that's interested. Does that all make sense? Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. So let me go ahead and get started. Got to plug in a little bit of information here. I know we have a coupon going that's $2.99 off per window. And we also have $6.99 off a door. You called on the buy one, get one fifty. And then we've also got the local savings, which is 25% off. Like I said, you may or may not have heard about that. So total for your project, the price that's good for a year, as we promised, is $33,225. Okay. Um, all right. <laughs> $33,225 gets everything done. Just like we had described, this price is good for a year. You can hold on to this. I can email it to you, whatever you want to do. And um, before we get into any of that, though, and we start looking at the promotions, I want to ask you a couple of questions about this. Is, is that okay? Sure. Okay. So there's a wide variety of ways that you can take care of a, you know, of a project like this. Down here, it mentions a uh, cash option. Our cash option is half down and half upon substantial completion. So they would give half on the initial visit in the form of a check or a credit card, and then for the final payment, it can only be made in the form of a check or cash. No credit cards are accepted for the final payment. Uh, we've got a 12 month same as cash program that's available right now. And then we also have minimum monthly payment programs that have very, um, very favorable interest rates that are fixed. So let me ask you real quick, looking at this 33,225, if you were to do it, and I'm only saying if, but if, if you were to do this, how would you tackle a number like that? If I was to do something like that, um, a payment would probably make the most sense for me. If, if you were, a if, payment yeah. is probably the way you would want to go? Yeah. Okay, great. All right, well, we're going to dive into that a little bit. This is that price that we had promised to give to you. Let me go ahead and show you the other promotions that are available and, and see what kind of help that can give us too. Okay. All right. So looking at this here, um, we plugged in the buy one, get one fifty. That actually works out really well. It takes off $7,310. All right, then we have the dollar off. That was $2.99 a piece. That's only coming in at $35.60 basically. And the door, you only had one door, so that's 700 bucks off. The local savings, 25%. And this is kind of often the case, just to be perfectly frank. Um, comes in at $8,306 off. So it saves you $1,000 over the buy one, get one fifty. Knocks off $8,300 off of the project. And um, would bring it right around to right around 25 to get everything done. That sounds a lot better. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I mean, it's a lot of money no matter how you slice it, but getting it done for as least as you can, obviously, is what we all want to do. So we're going to go ahead and work with that one there. And um, when we look at that, you've got 25% off saving 8306, brings it down to 2419. We have, you had said you would be interested in a payment option. And so this option here puts the payment right around 531 a month. And I want to point out right away that the, these programs that we offer that we've been able to negotiate with the banks, these are no prepayment penalty and they're unsecured funds. So what I mean by that is if you didn't want to take this out for the entire term, you could pay it off as quick as you want to. There's no prepayment penalty for that. And whenever we say it's unsecured funds, 
Basically, this, the, the thing that would be most comparable to this would almost be like a, a credit card, meaning we're not, we're not putting a lien on your house. There's no, you know, nothing attached to your firstborn child or anything like that. These loans are strictly based off of your good credit. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Okay, good. So 531 a month gets the whole thing done. Now, before we get into this too deep, I want to go ahead and plug in a deposit. Oftentimes, whenever I see or I meet with families and work with families, um, we see people put down about a third a lot of the time. Not all the time, and we're going to work our way through that and figure out what makes sense for you guys. If we were to do that, that would bring your remaining balance to sixteen four, and you'd be coming in right about three fifty a month. That payment's more comfortable than the five hundred. That three fifty. Yeah. Okay, great. Actually, that's really helpful. I have a couple of questions that I want to ask you, so we can make sure that we find the exact right way for you to make this purchase. But I'm confident that saving eighty three hundred bucks getting you down to a minimum monthly payment, that's gonna be advantageous. But let's talk a little bit about these two numbers, about the payment and the deposit, all right? So as far as the payment goes, you just expressed to me that you you, you feel okay around the 350. Um, how I do mean, you... I can do it, yeah. Okay, there's a little bit of this going on. So I, I assume you're like most people, you'd like to see that coming down a little bit. I know, I, I mean, I'm the same as you. You'd like to see that 350 come down a little bit? Well, yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> all right, good. Now. Having said that, let me ask you about the deposit. How do you feel about that 8,500? Do you have a credit card or anything like that you like to put stuff like that on, get some points? I mean, I have a credit card, but I really don't want to really don't want to have to charge $8,500 to it. That's understandable. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about that number then. You don't want to put 8,500 onto it. What what would you want to? I mean, what I'd want to put down on it. I mean, I could probably do about twenty five hundred bucks. Twenty five hundred. Yeah. Okay, and you wanted to get this three fifty to come down a little bit too, right? Yeah. All right. So obviously, if we stuck with this program, if we switch this to twenty five hundred, then that that payment's going to go up. But I, I feel like we have a way that we can make this work for you. I didn't ask you this before, so let me just get some additional clarity. How much lower did you want to get that three fifty? Are you thinking like around three hundred, three twenty, somewhere around there? What do you What do you? Yeah, feeling? between three hundred and three twenty would be okay. Between three hundred yeah. and three twenty, and this needs to be around twenty five hundred up here for the deposit. Yeah. Okay. All right. Great. I I I feel like we've got some ways that we can help. Let me. Let me do this. Let's go right away and just make this adjustment to the deposit. You said 2500 feels good. I'm going to go ahead and jump back to where we were at. Now, obviously, whenever we reduce the deposit on this particular program, it's going to come in higher. It's 478. You do feel good about the 2500 though. Yeah, but I thought they were both going to be lower. Well, that's the goal. Right now with this particular program, that's that's not going to happen. But what we can do is we can, we can make a couple of changes or modifications to this. So if we were to switch over to this term here, we can get the entire project done with your 2500 down for 269 a month. Oh, wow. Okay. Now, you want it to be right around 300, 320. This is, with your 2500 down, is going to be able to get you to get this whole project done for basically 270 a month. 270 is, is pretty sweet. I could, I could manage that. And you feel good about the twenty five hundred? Um, yeah, I can, I can, I can do the twenty five hundred. Okay, all right, great. It's real easy to get started. All I need from you is your driver's license, and I'll answer a couple of questions for the bank. Probably got about fifteen, twenty minutes of paperwork or so. So, would you mind grabbing me your driver's license so we can get the project started for you?